All right, Marcia, let me just see if I can figure out what it is. So Marcia asked uh, with storefront, uh, storefront glazing on the corner, um, and she doesn't want uh, a mullion there, um, but she wants a top and bottom channel. Um, let's see, let's see if we can do that. So that actually, um, I like that question because um, it can bring a, a couple other things that I can show you guys. So first, for those of you who have never dealt with corners on curtain walls, this is kind of a cool, a cool little little tutorial that I can give here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll quickly, I'm, I'm just in a default project. Um, I'll quickly click storefront, and I'll draw storefront. Okay, so right, these, this is this is a, a storefront um, curtain wall right here. So if I go in 3D, ta-da! Oh, I have this project with a whole bunch of levels. Somebody else asked a question earlier. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll answer it again on here for them, but I'm also going to turn on some view stuff so it looks a little better. Okay. Okay. So here's here's our curtain wall. So I I think what you're trying to say there is actually first before I jump into the butt glazing. For those of you that don't know how to put a corner mullion um, on a curtain wall, um, here's a great tip for you. So I'm just going to tab, and I'm going to select one mullion. It doesn't have to be both uh, either wall. It's just one mullion on the corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna get say select mullions on the grid line. So now it's selected all the mullions on the one on the one curtain wall on that grid line. I'm gonna unpin them, so I'm gonna type UP on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna pull down and you'll notice there's there's these things called corner mullions. And so if you don't have corner mullions, then that means that the person who made your template stripped them out and you have to load them in, um, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but <laughs> um, you can see the trapezoid corner mullion, there's a V corner mullion, and then there's a quad corner, there's a couple of different corner mullions. So if I just do a five by five, you'll see I'm gonna get an error in the corner, which you can't see, there it is. Uh, corner mullion overlaps, delete elements. So what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna delete the other mullions and leave just a corner. So you say delete elements, and you got yourself a really nice looking corner there. So if you had a, a corner mullion, not the butt glazing you're talking about, that's actually how you would do it. Um, and so what we could do is we could we could look at some of the other corners just so you can get a sense of what they are. So I'm going to select mullions on grid line, and then I'm going to do the V corner. So the V corner is this guy. And of course I need to select them all. Select mullions on grid line. And a trapezoid corner. Look at that thing. That's lovely. Oof. That's a heck of a detail, huh? Yuck. Okay, so now let's just say we have butt glazing as as um, as the question I believe is asking. So I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna press delete. Okay, so what you'll notice is that the the mullions themselves are cleaning up pretty neat, um, but but the problem is the glazing. You can see the glazing is not, and so usually the reason for that is if you notice. By default, if you're using the Revit storefronts, um, I'm gonna do SD so you can see. Notice how the glass is offset from the center. So cur curtain walls, and most walls, but curtain walls especially, clean up using the centers, using those the grips that you pull, right? And so if, you're, if your curtain glazing is offset, guess what? It's not gonna clean up in the middle. So what you need to do is you need to have a type, whether it's the default type or one that you modify, and you need to turn off the offset or modify the offset. See how the offset is one and a quarter inches? If I said zero and click okay, now you can see I'm getting closer. It's not perfect, um, so if I really wanted to make it perfect, I can dimension here and say, okay, my glass is, a, is an inch thick, so maybe I wanna go a half inch offset. Half inch offset, and there we go. Or vice versa, maybe you want it to be overlapping, whatever, but you get the idea. So I think that probably would be would be pretty helpful for you. Um, that may be what what's what what's what you're running into, but uh, just a little something there. And notice how these are cleaning up fine. Um, and so if you're using the right mullion types or your default profiles, you shouldn't have any problems with those cleaning up.